Mr. Bambles. He's a sleepy kitty. He's sleepy. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's week two of NaNoWriMo. Today is November 13th. It's Monday and it's actually quite late. I had such a busy day today. My first time being super busy since not working my corporate job. We're just gonna get straight into the updates. So I didn't write Saturday because if you guys missed my last video, I know my last video was so long, um, but at the end of the video, I was saying how I had two openings I wanted for my young adult fantasy novel and I didn't know which opening to choose. One opening was suggested by Maggie Steve Otter when I went on my writing retreat with her in Scotland back in July. So this experimental stuff, I had decided like I didn't want to pursue that. So I wrote or I planned out how both paths would go, like if I used her suggestion or if I stuck with my original and I had decided to like stick with my original but on Friday when I was working on my book I like accidentally came upon the experimental stuff and I couldn't I had completely forgotten I did that because I have a mind of a goldfish and if I don't think something is like significant anymore I completely forget about it I've decided since then though that I don't think we will do that experimental stuff I think I'm going to continue to pursue the original way I have written it so the suggestions that she had it's ca it's called in media's res yes in media's res so that means that you're dropped in you're dropped right into the story without any context if I did the in media's res I would then have to work my way up to that point throughout the rest of the book and I think I'm not going to do that because I try to remember why I mean I thought I thought long and hard about this I wanted like the in oh my god what's the word again <laughs> I keep forgetting I had such a long day uh what's the, what's the word in media's res in media's res that moment is a big beat and I really want to emphasize or contrast the before and after because the characters in this world have a different opinion about my main character like after this moment so i want to make that clear and contrast that so i think having it at the beginning and then having like a before and then after is like a little bit jarring i don't think it'll get the the t intention that well i think i don't know yeah I, I don't think so and also i realized that if i were to do this new what's the word in media's res i would have to scrap my current prologue because the prologue and the in media's res they both are like leaving you off with a cliffhanger almost you get like that big boom and then it just doesn't flow <laughs> i don't know if that makes sense it just like doesn't flow at all um i tried to look at it i mean it's not tried i did look at it yesterday sunday to see if it flowed well and it really didn't i actually asked my critique partner what she thought about both so if you guys missed that i did ask her which one she liked more and she said which i really love what she said thank you claire if you're watching this my critique partner just like saves my life literally every single time so i sent her both versions the first version is the in media's res version so she said i like how version one drops you right into the action i love the storytelling technique of starting in the middle and then going back to see the lead up Plus this opening does a lot so it makes a tight story and leaves the reader with questions which is a good hook. And then she said for version 2 which is like my original version, I like how version 2 feels a bit slower and more character focused and seems a bit more romantic and it has the reader wondering about enough to also be a good hook. So my book is a fairy tale retelling or two fairy tale retellings so I did want that romantic tone underneath the first chapter and that romantic tone is also important to or how my character behaves in this romantic tone is important to his character it also implies and reflects what happens after that that big beat that's supposed to happen so yeah i think i'm like determined more and more now to stick with the original version yeah i mean i don't want to change the prologue but i like i really did like dropping you guys in to that moment i think it really starts off the you know book running i also realized that i don't really have to make this, this decision now like even though i kind of am already i'm just gonna move on we're gonna just edit the rest of the book we're on chapter four right now and also what i really wanted to quickly say was that i'm glad that while i was reading the prologue chapter one and chapter two i was glad that the writing was like <laughs> readable 
um it's nice to like read your writing and not like automatically cringe like i don't think this is like the best writing of mine ever but i do like how it's good enough that i can read it kind of in an objective way while i sort through these like structure issues so yeah that's the start of this video if you like this video so far and if you think it's helping you on your journey i would really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up and maybe leave a comment of a red notebook this will help youtube recommend this video to other writers like yourself and also help my channel out a little bit i'm currently out of a job and the AdSense would help me a lot, so thank you so much. I honestly am really tired right now, so I don't know how much writing will get done. Unfortunately, I didn't get any writing done on Saturday either, but in my defense, I was like trying to think about this without actively thinking about it. Like I wanted to have like these thoughts at the back of my head, whether or not I wanted to do the immediate res at the back of my head. So I thought it was fine I didn't write Saturday. Now am I not gonna write today again? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We're gonna make my morning coffee now. Depending on... Okay, it, it depends every day. Um, but typically, I like to make at least two cups of coffee in the morning. And then I'll drink like the leftovers on the second day. And I'll turn it into like an iced coffee. We're just gonna get some ice here. My goal in life will be to have one of those fridges that can automate automatic generate ice for you yes yes that is the goal the two most important ingredients coffee and oat milk i love this brand so much i'm just gonna <laughs> fill it all the way up so cute shake up the oat milk yeah I use a lot of oat milk actually. <laughs> okay, I think this is fine. And I lost the straw for this. So we're just gonna use a random metal one. I <laughs> look so dire. It's not even that early. I think it's like almost 10. I wrote about 300 words last night and it was in chapter two, not even in chapter four. So what happened, and I keep forgetting to tell this, to tell you guys in the vlogs, is that on Friday when I was doing my read through of the book, like what I had revised, I. I realized I had completely skipped a section in the middle of a scene in chapter two. So because of that, I was trying to, I have like different versions of this chapter throughout my Google Drive. So that's why, that's how I found that experimental stuff because I was like looking up, like maybe I had like another, another draft or something with this written, but I didn't. So I filled in that section yesterday or I started to um, I wrote about 300 words as I said and it's not done so today I wanted to do a deep dive into chapter 2 and hopefully finish it I want to do chapter 4 so I really just want to like focus on nothing but writing I haven't had a day like this to myself where I could just like write and not do anything I think the last time this happened to me was in 2021 <laughs> 2021 when I did my first 10k and my first and only ever 10k day that was like a day where I had the whole day to myself to write I really couldn't believe like I missed this section without any knowledge of it because I have a notebook and in my notebook I never included like oh missing missing the entire middle of this scene yeah I don't I don't know what's happening Wednesday, November 15th. I thought I'd give a quick update. I have a few things to say. Oh my voice. So I was very productive yesterday. I feel like I had a really good day. I was just like chilling. I was writing a little bit. I was cleaning up. I was reading. I was doing some AUG work. So yesterday I revised or I finished that scene that I was missing in chapter two. And then while I was writing chapter two, I realized that there was a scene I wanted to add in chapter one. So I like went ahead and added that in. And then since chapter one and chapter two are now completely finished in terms of a developmental perspective, I moved on to chapter three. I was gonna skip chapter three because structural wise, it's it serves one purpose. Like this chapter three is like literally one action beat. So like it achieves 
its purpose by existing. Um, but I kind of wanted to like read through the lines and see just to make it a little bit readable. So I did that yesterday and I feel like chapter three is going to be one of those chapters that I'm going to have to play with a lot. Um, it's a very internal chapter. There's no dialogue at all in chapter three. So I think it's just going to be a lot of tweaking. So I'm not too worried about chapter three from a de developmental perspective. I think it's totally fine. I just need to like fine tune the words as I continue revising the book. In chapter three, okay, how do I say this? A long, not a long time ago, a few months ago, I saw on Twitter, someone was like, I don't know if it was another writer or a reader, someone was like, authors need to stop putting lyrics into their books because it sounds very cheesy and corny. And that stuck out to me because there are some lyrics in this book and there are some lyrics in chapter three. So like I knew this, like I knew that I had lyrics in my book and so I was a very like, ooh, I was like, okay, feeling a little defensive. Okay, that has stuck with me because since I read that tweet, I've read several books with lyrics in them. And now I'm like, okay, I can kind of see where this person is coming from. So while I was editing chapter three, I was like thinking like, oh, should I not include these like internal lyrics or just lyrics? But I wonder if the problem is the rhyming. <laughs> Maybe the rhyming makes it cheesy. Uh, so I don't know yet. So that's part of like the whole playing with the words like I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet I think I will keep in some of the lyrics but yeah it's it's tough to balance because I want this chapter to be quite poetic as well and poetry obviously utilizes rhymes um so I'm trying to find like the balance between that so that's what I did yesterday I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a ton of writing today I think we'll allocate like one hour I want to do some auger work first um, I have a bunch of things to do for them I volunteer at auger magazine it is a Canadian literary science fiction and fantasy magazine and I do want to do some client work tonight I feel like I'm I'm not behind on client work but I will I like to like just you know I like to do it <laughs> because I realize that at a young age I hate looming deadlines I'd rather just like do it ASAP. I want to talk about the book I'm reading right now, The Surviving Sky, Kritika H. Rao. I love giving these reading updates. I know my reading videos aren't very popular, but I really want to put out more reading videos. I started reading this last night. I'm already about like 20% in. It's so good. I can't believe this was not in the nominees for Goodreads Sci-Fi. Oh, how do I explain this? It's about, um, I don't know if it's Earth. I'm thinking it's Earth. Like Earth is no longer livable because of Earth rages. So people live in the skies in these floating cities and these floating cities are um, due to architects of this world and these architects are plant manipulators they can control plants and it's just so freaking cool I am thinking that this could be a good comp for Euphoria which is like the sci-fi book that I haven't worked on in years but I'm really enjoying this so far are those all the updates I wanted to say? I guess so there must be something else I can't think of anything else it's Thursday, November 16th yeah, since the 16th. I didn't really write yesterday. I was doing client work and auger work and I was doing interview prep. I had a call, it was very busy. So, uh, but I was like, let me try to get some words in. Um, so I did work for like 10 minutes. <laughs> I started going through chapter four. And while I was going through chapter four, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I think I need to go back and add in something into chapter two to make the, continuity makes sense um because i don't think i mentioned it in chapter two so i like went back into chapter two like added just a little bit in because i do have to like i don't want this current past to be like fixing these little things i want to make sure like the structure is good so after this whole act is done then i'm gonna go back and add in and like tweak these like small smaller changes so i'm gonna have to write that down actually my notebook or else i'm gonna kind of forget yeah that's <laughs> pretty much all i did i was like i can't i don't want to do this right now i think draft two for me is the hardest part about writing a book it always has been i'm hoping to change this process up in the future because i don't plan ahead so when i draft i'm doing a discovery draft i'm figuring out everything like at the end of draft one so in draft two i have to make everything make sense that neil gaiman quote that i always quote and always quote terribly uh he said in his master class that draft two is pretending like you knew what you were doing in draft one all along the process of doing your second draft is a process of making it look like you knew what you were doing all along 
it's a lot of these like you gotta know everything you gotta know everything um of course like you can do multiple developmental edits but for me i want this draft two to be like okay no more unknowns this is known and after draft two like it's gonna be all about the line edit so that's how i've been approaching like short stories at least i don't know maybe for a novel maybe i need several rounds of developmental edit but i, I don't think i do it's just that like the work has to be done whether it's in another draft or whether it's now like i have to do it i mean i'm not really discouraged or anything i'm just like <sighs> chilling lots of stuff happening in my life and today is like the last warm day we'll have in toronto i think for a few months and that's kind of depressing but maybe i'll be out of here before then but anyway anyway i think for today we're gonna focus on client work again i think i wanted to do i think it was 27 pages every day to make me feel good about the draft i mean the the book before i send it off to my client i'm heading off to my partner's place right now um it's still pretty early in the morning so i want to drop by a new bookstore that opened in his neighborhood i've never been to that bookstore before it's a new indigo and i've seen it on tiktok and instagram so it, i'm just you know sucker for books i am not gonna buy anything though you are gonna hold me accountable to it because i think i have about 139 books 140 150 i don't know on my tbr right now so i don't want to be buying books anymore also i don't know if it's just because i'm like getting old but i've actually been preferring to read on my kindle over real books so as i mentioned i'm currently reading the surviving sky um almost 50 percent through and i'm like struggling <laughs> to keep the pages open my cats are like cuddling with me and i'm like having a hard time keeping the book open and also like i don't know how i don't know if you guys can see how it got so like green or yellow i don't know if you can see it from the camera I was like, is that my dirty hands? Like, there's no way it's me. There's no way it's me. It's so dirty now. It's a little bit gross. Like, I don't know. I don't know how this happened. I don't think I explained this book really well yesterday. <laughs> the sky in the city is made up of plants. That's why these architects can manipulate them because they're like plant wielders. And also the sky, or sorry, <laughs> the city also feeds off of the citizens like consciousness. So I am like absolutely loving the world building to this. I want to just read this like all day until I finish it. Um, but we have stuff to do. Hopefully we'll get some writing done. Like I'm not too concerned about the writing. I know I said I wanted to write every single day for NaNoWriMo, but now that I'm a bit deeper into like different steps of the interview process and now that it's becoming clear to me that I might have to be moving soon, I kind of want to just take things slow and take things how i want to take them we're still gonna write obviously but if i don't write every day like we'll see like maybe i'll finish my client work early and maybe i won't just want to read this book all day Just to get quickly into the updates, I don't have any writing updates. I didn't write yesterday. I was focused on client work and then I did interview prep and I had some jerk chicken and bubble tea. So I didn't do, I didn't write yesterday completely independent of the allegations that I found out from NaNoWriMo. They have been accused of child exploitation, which is a topic that I take very seriously and therefore I've decided to stop making NaNoWriMo diaries for the remainder of the month. I'm not canceling NaNoWriMo. You can continue to work on your book and try to finish your book. 
I probably will still be watching NaNoWriMo videos from other writers and creators, but for me personally, this is a very serious matter and it makes me so disgusted to think that my community could have also been impacted by what happened on NaNoWriMo's forums. And I think it just touches so much closer to me because I'm in this writing community too. So for the time being, I will take a step back from posting NaNoWriMo diaries. I haven't decided whether or not I want to continue filming weekly writing vlogs because as I mentioned in the videos like yesterday, I feel like my priorities are shifting as I move further onto different interview processes if I'm moving out of Toronto in general and I think that I'm not sure like I, I don't know um, so I'm sorry that this is the way it ended up being. I'm very disappointed and I just I just want to say it um, like out loud also in a clip here. I would recommend reading my community tab. It has a lot more information. That's all I'll say about the matter for now. If I find out results about the investigation, I'll definitely update this channel. So for today, for my writing, I will try to write. Um, but I'm going to focus on client work again, and if I don't feel like writing, I'm just going to continue reading this book. I didn't read any yesterday, and I'm hoping that on this camera, you might be able to see like the yellow more. Okay, yeah. Do you see it? Thank you so much for watching this video. I apologize that this is the way things turned out. I hope your projects, regardless of you doing NaNoWriMo or not, I hope your projects are doing well and I will see you in my next video. Bye!